Hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. How's every, everything? Um, it's great to be together and discuss about the future, about our world, about our faith, about our uh, interaction and how people, uh, you know, how people are behaving and uh, what is the solution for that. It's a very great uh, uh, program for me because we cover a whole lot of things. Today, Muslim Muslims at the speaker corner. Muslims at speaker at the speaker corner. The speaker corner, speaker's corner, is in England and London, where a lot of people come up, and uh, it is a tradition where people, when they feel something, they come out against the government, against anybody, and they express their feeling, their uh, opposition, or their support, or what whatever they feel. It is a place where you can you go and breathe out. <laughs> To say breathe out if you are oppressed or something like that against the government or any group or anything you, freely 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 nobody is going to attack you nobody is going to say that's your freedom that's in london now that is changing that's changing dramatically changing because of islam now there is another uh, prophet uh, who is the son of the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam america russia will go to iraq Computers will push nuclear button and world will end. Wow. Wow. This is a prophet Muhammad, another, another fear monger, you know. They send fear. Islam like to send fear. Fear. No. No peace. Just fear. Allah, fear the prophet. Fear, fear, fear. Fear mongering. Let us listen, uh, this, uh, Muslim. This is a matter. He studied all his 40 years and he found nothing in the, in the Quran. The Bible is lie, 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 lie. This is the speaker's corner. Welcome. <laughs> Islam, welcome Islam to London. Uh, this is after they uh, attacked our dear sister uh, Hatun Tash, and now they are coming out and expressing their their love of freedom. Islam, the love of freedom and love of coexistence, live with other people, respect other religion, other. I think why now why everybody is against Islam because it is it is not compatible. It was was just it has been it is a practice of seventh century uh seventh century cow herder uh, you know goat keepers those uh you know nomads the Bedouins. that was their lifestyle that and they are very hostile they were very hostile and it came down to us these people cannot coexist with anybody in any country in any country for example if you take a christianity you don't you don't you don't change you. I mean, you don't. Still, you keep your country, your culture, your anything. You be a Christian. Nobody is going to ask me to pray to Jerusalem, to that side, to this side, or to speak Arabic. I can speak in my language and communicate with God. I'm not required to speak any language. But this one, you have to pray to the Arab land. It is the Arab mentality. It is the supremacy of the Arab over the other nation. How many countries lost their values? Iran was the most awesome country, the most beautiful. If you go and then read the Persian history, their king, their kingdom, wow, it is amazing. Even in the Bible, if you go to the book of Esther, like um, 127 country, they rule the most powerful kingdom, more, even more powerful than America and England and anybody combined. They were more powerful, yet they respected all the people. The Jew and the other countries in 120, they respect it. But it, Islam, it tries to change you. Islam, you have to be like, uh, Arab. You have to, you have to have Arab mentality, the Arab language. You cannot call, for example, and uh, God, I can call him in, 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 in English, in Hebrew, it is Elohim. 
and uh, and then in, in uh, English, God, uh, in other language, you, you can call him whatsoever, because God knows the language, all the language. But Allah, no, you cannot change. Allah, you use your your own language to call Allah. And then when you pray, you have to face to Mecca, because you are a slave to that country, you are a slave to that culture. So the dominant of you know this is like uh, it's like a cancer, and try to transform the whole the whole body, the whole thing. Islam is like that. That's why brother Christian Prince and others and us we are now against it. They cannot live together. They don't have they don't know any democracy. It's tough for Allah. That's what they say. That's what they say when when it comes to democracy or coexistence with other people. All the people, the Hindu, the Buddhist, the uh, any any Christian, all are beasts before them. Whereas in in the Bible. God made man in his own image after the likeness of God God, uh, made, God created man and woman. So you, whosoever he is, humanity is respected. God said you have to respect. It's not the religion. If the Hindu person comes, I will respect them because they were, they are created in the image of God. If a Muslim comes, I will respect it because they are, it's not because of democracy or anything, but they have, they are human and they are, you know, two. Uh, rise against these people because of the, you know, something is like a rising against God, opposing the kingdom of God. We're not allowed to love people, but we're, we're, we're not allowed to do that, but to love and to respect and to honor humanity. But Islam, none of that is in Islam. Islam is religion of supremacy, the supremacy of Arabs, the Quraysh. That's the mentality. Wherever it goes, Wherever a Muslim goes, he goes with that mentality. He's not going to willing to change. No, no, never. That is Islam. That is Islam. In 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 Hindu, they destroy the temple. In Pakistan, they destroy they destroy the Hindu temple. They rob and take the churches and all. They do everything. This is a cancer. Islam is really cancer. It must be dealt. And we work together to dismantle the lies and the deception of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's the password. <laughs> and Allah peace be upon him. Allah peace be upon him. That's it. Um, uh, well, uh, it is what it is, my friend. <laughs> so we are here. Please share, like, subscribe, uh, comment. And, uh, let everybody participate against the, the fight. Let everyone learn about this cult and stand against this evil power. May the Lord richly bless you until we meet another program. Bye-bye.